my friend Boots. Say hola Boots. Don't worry about him, he's just very shy. I think there's something wrong with his broca's area which is located in the frontal lobe. I mean, I would take him to the hospital, but I am not trying to pay for no medical bills. Anyways, we're on our way to our mental health professional, Dr. Jefferson Steelflex. Matt, where do I go? I got you. What you gotta do is you go to this playground, and then you go to the troll bridge, and then you continue on, right? You bust the left, then boom, the doctor's house. Once again, it's the playground, the troll bridge, and the doctor's house. Don't screw this up, stupid. Okay, let's go. Are you ready, Boots? Hey, Dora, I hooked you up with everything you need. I got you a hanger, a lotion, a stapler, some five below earphones, and some pads. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. Burst. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh no. He's... He's one of them. He's a fox. Oh man. Kids, I just noticed. When I was running, my heartbeat was faster. I was sweating. And my mouth was dry. I guess my sympathetic nervous system was activated in the, the autonomic nervous system, both located in the peripheral nervous system. I guess my homeostasis is extra juicy today. We finally made it to the playground. Solve the challenge. Kids, let's solve this challenge right quick. Use your occipital lobes to see. Get those hippocampus is working. Try to remember what these animals look like. Imagine your prototypes. Hmm. A cow. A dog. A fish. Challenge completed. You may pass. If you could just stop for a minute, I'll fix you up just- <laughs> Oh man. We lost. Yo Dora, I told you to go left, you stupid. Why didn't she use the key on the mat? What did you tell me? Konyo is finally here. Come in, Dora. You're just in time.
Diego, what are you doing here? My mom sent me here. So Dora, your parents tell me you've been a little on the edge lately. A little. Tell me, where did it all start? Well, it all started when I was five. Mommy, could you tell me a bedtime story? Sure, honey. My mom read me a very scary story about foxes and she said it was all true. I've been scared of foxes ever since. So let me get this straight. You experience feelings of paranoia, find it difficult to trust others due to suspicion, and it began when you were little. See? It seems you have paranoid personality disorder. You're trying to lock me up, aren't you? I will not be some kind of mental nut. Wow, that was offensive. But since all humans are good, I will give you unconditional positive regard. No one's trying to lock you up, Dora, but you do need some treatment. I recommend cognitive behavioral therapy. I'll throw in some antipsychotics as well. Swiper, can you please join us? What's up? Ah, what is that rat doing here? It's part of his condition released from jail since you called the cops on him so many times. That's why we're all here to clear up everyone's mess. Come on, Dora. Fine. So Diego, your mother tells me you've been reliving different parts of your past? I have a dark past. There's just some things you can't forget. Please explain. It all started when I tried to save the jungle. I was out with my pet jaguar that I imprinted on. Not possible, but go ahead. When these two poachers showed up. Hey! It's time to cleanse this jungle of your furry friends. He looks tasty to me. Leave him alone. Your friend's worth a lot where I come from. Maybe he'll make a nice pair of Uggs. You're gonna have to go through me first. Come on! When I woke up, I was alone. My pet Jaguar had been torn apart and feasted upon by those savages. They stole my gear, my map, my backpack, everything. I wandered the jungle for years. The friendly creatures that were once my friends became my next meal. I had to survive. The whole jungle seemed to turn on me. Then, when I emerged, it was all gone. Those damn poachers destroyed this beautiful jungle, and I felt so powerless. Oh, but at least I got a lot of aerobic exercise to keep myself in shape. Jesus. Can I even help this dude? Do you personally think I'll be able to help you? They skin my brothers alive. I'm gonna take that as a no, but listen to me. The first part of your treatment is you believing that you can be treated. To get past your post-traumatic stress disorder, I'm gonna prescribe you some antidepressants and I want you to continue to see me at least twice a week from here on out. Thank you, doctor. Swiper, I've noticed that you pay fine attention to detail and have a knack for wanting things in a specific manner. Doesn't everybody? Well, not to the same degree that you do. What you need to understand is that you don't have control over every aspect of your life. You see, when I was a boy, I was just like you once. I like how this girl acts like there isn't a napkin right next to her. Oh my God, take care of yourself, girl. Swiper? You kind of look like Diego. Shut up. Boy, does your temporal lobe work? Jesus Christ. 
The part of the brain that allows you to hear. I'm sorry, Doc. I just can't take this. Oh, f oh f See? I told you he was out to get me. I kill you, but the mess would be unbearable. I think you should be treated with a token economy system to reward you when you correctly control your behaviors. Oh my god, can you please fix your tie? Your hair as well? Is one eye bigger than the other? You are the prime example of human imperfection. Careful, Fox. You never know whose kitchen table your roasted ass will end up on next. <laughs>